Transferring your data between microsurvey point prep and microsurvey layout is a seamless process. Now that we've completed our drawing and we've calculated our stake points that we want to take out to the field to lay out on the job site, I'm going to go to the Import Export menu, select Microsurvey Field Genius and Layout, and run the Export Project command. This will create a microsurvey layout project that you can use on your data collector. I'm going to keep the project name and location as their defaults. A couple options. I want to turn on this option to launch the microsurvey transfer on completion. When I click OK, it creates the project and then opens up the microsurvey transfer window. The microsurvey transfer is showing the projects that are in my upload folder. These are projects that have been created from microsurvey point prep and projects that are currently on the data collector. I'm going to select my new lot project, click the blue arrow to upload it to the data collector, and over it goes. I'm going to exit from the microsurvey transfer, and I can now head out to the job site to do the layout. All right, so I'm back from the job site. I've completed my layout, and what I want to do is import my layout project back into point prep. I'm going to go to the import export menu. Again, microsurvey field genus and layout, and I want to download the project from my data collector. Again, this opens up the microsurvey transfer window from before. This time showing my download folder. I'm going to click on the lot project from my data collector and download it into my downloads folder on the computer. We'll exit from the microsurvey transfer, go back to import export, microsurvey field genius and layout, and we want to import the project. If you had multiple projects in your download folder, they would all show up here. Right now I've only got the one. So I'm just going to select it, press next few options. I'm just going to click Next. A couple options windows that come up. And there we go. So the uh, microsurvey layout data is now imported into our project. If I had uh, done any as-built work or picked up any new points, they would uh, be showing up in the coordinate database. Because I only did a layout of the existing points, what I can do is go into the uh, measurements database. And we can see here's our uh, measurement information. So on the job site, what I did was I set up on point number one, back sighted point number six. And then these blue records are the uh, layout measurements to each of these uh, stake points for the building corners. What I can do from here is go to the cut sheets menu and create a point cut sheet. And what we see here is our uh, design points. These are the points that I had calculated in the office with microsurvey point prep. The as built these are the uh, points that were stored in the field. Um, in this case, I didn't store new points. They were just measured. And we can see all, all the different properties of the design and as built points, including the deltas between the two. So the deltas, of course, is the uh, difference between the uh, design coordinate and your actual measured coordinate. What we've got up here is a uh, design tolerance feature. What we can do is define a, uh, a measurement tolerance. And if I uh, set it really quite tight here and press the apply button, what you'll see is this pass column will update to indicate which measurements fall within this tolerance that you've defined. In this case, the first several measurements were within uh, 0 0.005 feet of the design point. This last point was a little bit further away, it's still pretty close, and uh, so it's uh, probably just in this case a case of the tolerance being a little bit too tight. If we change my uh, design tolerance to hundredth of a foot, click apply, you can see this time all of the measurements are within tolerances. And if you like you can print out a copy of this report to keep on file.